What? It's a Game Boy game? And Mario Central's not using an emulator? What is this madness? He's actually doing something legitimate? Wow! Oh my goodness! Well, what Game Boy game is it? Because I don't own very many. <laughs> I'm curious to know. Well, it is a certain someone's 20th anniversary. So, that could only mean it is Mario Kart Super Circuit, the most underrated Mario Kart game of all time. Yes, we're starting Mario Kart Super Circuit. It is the ultimate throwback to the original, as you can see there, 1992. It has been a long 20 years, and my oh my, this franchise is something else. My controller is malfunctioning. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, let me go and switch my controller real quick. But, you know what? When it comes to Mario Kart games, this game does not get talked about enough. I feel this is one of those classics that just no one pays attention to. How come this game doesn't get much credit? I, I think it's a marvelous game. Not only does it combine the original Mario Kart, it has 20 tracks of, it, of its own. This game is brilliant, and I understand you well, you know what, it's not as creative as, say, some other courses. But, you know what? This game has all the charm, it has everything that has to do with Mario Kart, and it has things that no other Mario Kart has done. In fact, this is one of my favorites. I, I, you know what? I will admit this. This is my first owned Mario Kart. I had played Mario Kart 64. That was my first played Mario Kart. I played Super Mario Kart a little bit afterwards. But Mario Kart Super Circuit was the first Mario Kart I had ever owned, and thus I had spent a lot of time with it. And right now, I'm going to be a little shaky because I'll be honest with you. Um, this game is quite challenging. On the 150cc, these computers can get pretty darn reckless, and that's exactly what I mean because, Luigi, you are a jerk! Yeah. But what you want to do to get a good ranking, this was actually the first Mario Kart to introduce the ranking system. Uh, you want to get a lot of coins and also get good timing, but if that keeps happening to you, then that's not gonna happen because Luigi is a jerk. Let's just put that out there right now, and Yoshi took my item. Wow, okay, this is not a good start. Uh, oh, wait, 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 slow down, slow down. <laughs> okay, I just saw that he had a red shell. Hopefully I get a good item right here, and that is perfect. Out of my way, it's Starman way. Yeah, first place, all right. Don't get used to seeing that. Trust me, I have a feeling I will be finishing in like fourth or fifth sometimes. This game does get quite difficult. It retains the same, uh, you know, the same uh, functions as the other Mario Kart. If you got lower than fourth, then you have to try the stage again. You do not have a choice and you don't get any points. So be very careful. You have three tries. So again, this is not an easy Mario Kart. Very difficult. If you're looking for a challenging Mario Kart, this is it. My opinion, I like playing it on the Game Boy a little bit better. Right now I'm playing it on the GameCube controller. As you can see, I am recording it with the Game Boy player. It's one of the very few Game Boy Advance games that I own. I wasn't a big Game Boy Advance guy back then. I only had a few and most of them were Mario games. So. I felt, you know what, instead of doing it on an emulator, why not just do it on the original? Because I have it, I might as well, right? Because I had, in fact, I have Super Mario World, for those interested. I actually um, did, used an emulator to record because I didn't have the Game Boy player back then. I actually found this at a GameStop, which was surprising, and it works. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it works quite well, might I add. And I'm at the final lap. This is one of my better stages. I like this stage a lot better in this version compared to the Wii version. I felt the Wii version actually kind of let this stage down. I hate the Wii version. It, the bombs are so in your way. This one, they're just kind of there for show, and I like that. It's better. And it just, oh, the stage is so much more better here. I like it a lot. And there we go. This is why you should always have things protecting you, because you will constantly get bombarded in this game. The computers aren't stupid. I will admit... Computers are very smart. You mess up once, and he's right there. They're, they're not, I mean, yeah, the third and fourth place weren't that close in this one, but they usually are. If you mess up once, be prepared to lose. Like, it just, they really do pick up on that. It's much like Mario Kart 64 and Super Mario Kart, where if you do mess up, they're right there, so be very careful. In fact, we're going to one of my favorite stages, and that's Riverside Park. I love this place. Wait, oh god. Ha ha! That's what you get, DK. I, I want to get some coins, by the way, because I do want to get try to get as good a ranking as I can get. Whoa, that was pretty good. Ha ha, Bowser, in your face. <laughs> That's what you get. Now he's down to fifth. Oh boy, took him down a lot actually. <laughs> and I can hear someone with a star. I don't like that. Take my banana. That's right, Yoshi. 
The funny thing is, is if you actually hit somebody in this game, you can um, hit them again and they'll spin out again. It kind of sucks. There are things in this game that didn't get put in other Mario Kart games. And there's one thing specifically that no one ever, uh, no other Mario Kart has ever done this. If you get a red shell, right? You get a red shell and you have it in first place, you'll get pretty useful items. In first place, I hear a blue shell! Oh, it's the spiny shell. Yep. This one's worse. I don't like the spiny shell. You can... Two spiny shells? Are you kidding? Who sent them? Wow. Two spiny... And now I know the culprit. It was Yoshi, the jerk. Wow. Two spiny shells in a row. He probably just kept spawning them. Like, my goodness. All right. And as you can see there, if you drift properly, you actually do get quite a good boost. So, I mean, use that to your advantage. Please don't hit me. It totally did. Good job, Yoshi. I will admit, I am not doing so hot right now. In fact, my turning is not helping me. Come here. Let, let me get the boost drift right here. It's very hard to perform a boost drift in this game. You have to do it quite well, and it looks like I'm going to end up in fourth, which I really detest. Oh, my goodness. Okay, whatever. Uh, because, honestly, it, the points... Just like you know in the Mario, other Mario Kart games, it's 9631. So the minute you get a fourth to third place, you're putting yourself out of contention. I mean, look at that. Two points out of first. I got a guarantee of first place here. And good thing, too, because this is one of my better places. I like this place a lot, actually. Here we go! Mario saying. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank goodness I chose Mario to start this off. <laughs> uh, I, he was my favorite character in this game. I, I really like him. I, he always performs. I always seem to perform well with him. Okay, got to dodge on the fire. Got to get those. Perfect. This is one of those stages that I can get like 40 coins in. It's really, it's pretty easy. Unless the computers bombard you, which you can't help that. It all depends on their mood, really. <laughs> if they're in a good mood, then they'll spare you. If not... Eh, you're doomed, <laughs> to put lightly, like I was in that last match. I mean, two spiny shells, really? Honestly. But before I got so rudely interrupted by that, I was actually supposed to point out one thing. With the red shell, if you have it in first, it's not useless. This is something that was never put in any other Mario Kart. If you put it behind you, it attacks the person who comes up to it. It actually stays there, right? in place where you put it and it attacks the person who passes it it's so useful i mean i don't know why mario karts never did that afterwards i actually really like that tactic because it can protect first place a little bit longer and that's something that you know it's very hard in a lot of mario karts is to protect first place because you get bombarded so much but we ended up in first thank goodness wow <laughs> this was a good start right i mean wow i already had some good success and failure at the same time but I'll just show you to this this one time, because I like this congratulations screen. It's kind of cool. Yay! <laughs> There's the gold trophy from the fish's mouth. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and we get a C ranking. Well, obviously, our coins wasn't too bad, but if we didn't finish fourth, I think that could have been better. But that is it for now. Join me when we take on the Mushroom Cup on the flip side. See you guys then. This is Mario Central signing off.